Table or truth? So this is our uh, our second attempted take on trying to. Um, would you like a beer, sir? Would you oh, like these? No, I'm good. You good? Okay. But since you got it out, all right, let's get it out. They pan back and forth. His sons with them in grocery shopping. And they're fighting over the breakfast, like what they're going to pick up, and they want the cheap, or they want the, the more expensive. He goes, oh, you want to fight your old man now? You think you're a man now? Okay, let's go. In <laughs> front of the, the promotional booth, it's funny. God, it's uh, like you're next to the mic. That's awesome. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so here we go. Andrew Tate. So what'd you find on this chap? I, I honestly don't know enough about him to make a year and eight. All I know is he's uh, considered a wor worldwide by a lot of people a douchebag. He kind of looks like one, to be fair, because he's like the super fit guy. Um, he's a former kickboxer. Okay. He's obviously a handsome looking guy, you know. Charged with be so great old. in human trafficking. Now, that's the thing that, like, I heard, again, we'd have to get to the bottom of it, but I heard that the charges were actually um, – at least advocated against by the very people that were claimed to have been uh, accused of this. In other words, a third party seemed to resonate the charge as opposed to the actual perpetual victims. And unless I'm mistaken, somehow like the uh, World Economic Forum is involved in this, but I don't know enough about it. So now I want to know everything about why this guy is considered a, uh, an, what's the word, incel? Andrew Tate. Influencer? An influencer, an incel. Andrew Tate. And an a-hole at the same time. That is impressive. He was a world kickboxer, though, I guess. That's kind of cool. Andrew Tate. Yeah, so... Yeah, why does the Illuminati have it out against him? <laughs> That's the question. Yeah, because if he was jailed by, by like, high-ranking members of, like, the European Union or whatever. I, I don't know enough about it. Maybe that's an internet rumor. You know, it's only going to get worse with um, uh, deepfake. You know, I thought about that today. AI and deepfake. News is going to be even that much worse to try to make sense of. Yes. Currently, unless the state sponsored China, maybe Russia, um, can do real good fakes. Right now, most of the AI fakes... You can see it. Yeah, it's the amateur level. Yeah. Well, it's just not up, up to snuff, and unless, unless it's going to be state sponsored, that can throw money at it. I mean, but it's it, it's coming. It's that's coming. okay. So, what's the new paradigm going to be like? Like, because at that point, those who don't have much critical thinking skills, if might be so bold, um, are going to be woefully lost in the matrix because you will not know what to believe. Or if you choose to believe a complete like falsehood, like even more than it is now, is fake news. Right. Pretty soon you'll just be jumping off a cliff because your favorite star worship leader will tell you to do it. Well, you can see back uh, during the 2016 campaign where you had uh, a lot of Russian bots out there. Yeah. And uh, they went after everybody. Right. Going after left, right, just to get people angry. Psyops. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's so fair. That's fair. Anything to just discourage them, get them upset. They'll take both sides of the argument and come in and blast it. And then so you'll have people who, yeah, that's right. And then the other side will go, yeah, that's right. Well so, said, Tyson. I like that. Yeah, no, it's true. Because, right. cause like, I'm being over dramatic for flair here. But that is where you're saying that. You know, those people who can be influenced, they were influenced just by written word on social media, let alone you come out with, with uh, AI fake oh my voice God. the whole yeah. nine yards. As a matter of fact, I saw, um, I forgot which network it was on, but they had an expert come in yeah. and sit down with the interviewer and the interviewer pushed a button. And it rang her assistant, and her the producer was sitting over the side and said, "Yes, I said, uh, yes, this is X, Y, and Z. Uh, would you uh, give me my passport number? Uh, I forgot it, and I have to purchase a ticket." Yeah. And so the producer went, looked up, and, and gave it to over the phone. 
and it was a fake that this expert did. She said it took about 15 minutes, and what she did was use clips from uh, the interviewer yeah. that was on TV and then got it to a, a, a reasonable sentence and then sent it directly. So pretty soon you're going to need a password to, uh, to spot a robot when somebody makes a telecall. You'll be like, what's my favorite pet name? What do you call me last night? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's going to be messed up because the average perloke is not going to be able to handle that. They're just going to be like, oh, you know, freaking Kim Kardashian just called me and told me she loves me. And I just donated $2,000 to get a plane ticket to go well, see we, we know, you know. That's how I slipped the Kim Kardashian there in the background, you know. <laughs> but um, we know already with the, the scams is, you know, they just blast them out there. And if you get one hit out of a thousand... You can roll in the money. Of Good course. God. I know. I see a lot of those YouTube videos of like the vigilantes of justice yes. who are, who are ba- in, a, in, a, in a way I, I do admire that. Like, like anti hackers who are basically hackers, but crusaders for justice. And then they almost always, and I, I'm just speaking out of statistics, man. It's almost always a ring somewhere in India or something. Oh, India, Africa. <laughs> like, jeez. Um, oh, Romania. Dear God. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's just like. Generally known as white hats. White hats. That sounds like a matrix term, but yes. Yeah, it's white hats. The good good guys, the good hackers. Thanks for listening today, guys. Please hit a like and don't forget to share the video. Tune in for the next episode by subscribing or just keep tuning in.